Okay, now let's talk. Now for for the final part of the Morphin Gray case study of Deviat, let's talk about his basic info. Okay, I know I, I've been I've been a long I've been a lifelong Power Rangers fan alongside being a fan of other superheroes and stuff growing up when I was a kid during my childhood and up to my teenhood and up to my early twenties now. Um, I've been doing I've been doing a lot of stuff about Lost Galaxy than all the other Power Rangers because Lost Galaxy is my favorite Power Ranger show. So, I know a lot about Deviat as much as I do about Trakina. So, anyway, okay, let's talk about his story. Okay, I know he started off in the two-part episode that featured, uh, two-part story arc episode that featured the, um, the Lost Galacta Beast, which consists the Centaurus, Stratoforce, Megazords, and the Xenoph Carrier Zord, which was, um, in a, you know, asteroid field that Deviat found, where he found the Zords. And, you know, when he wanted the Zords and wanted to show him the Scorpius, he would use those Megazords to rule the universe and destroy Terra Venture. But, unfortunately, by the time when the... Well, when he used the Zords, he had the Ran the Galaxy Rangers Galaxy Megazord uncontrollable. Had them standing, doing nothing. He used. Well, we know he used this device. Let's say I, I this. Let's say as I used this Direct TV remote as his controller, for example. Presses this button, commands the Megazord not their, the get the Power Rangers' Megazord not to move, and just have his Megazords do all the fighting. And by part two, you know the Rangers got his Zords and had them turn to good from the evil. The evil of his work. By the time when the Rangers retained his Zords, which were the Lost Galactic Beasts, Deviat wanted to vow revenge for the Rangers for taking his Zords, and also his main his main mission was to assassinate and take out Scorpius. But by the time when, well, heir to the throne, when um, when. Well, you know, Deviat was setting up the Rangers in a trap in the warehouse, you know. And by the time of Scorpius, when Scorpius attacked the Rangers, and by the time when they had one more final shot at getting, destroying Scorpius for good, which obviously pissed Trakina off, um, you know, by the time when Scorpius was defeated by the hands of mainly the Red Ranger, that was when, you know, Deviat had to set him up so to cover up the lies to think that the Red Ranger did it, but actually, Deviat really, actually, in my book, as I'm going to read, as I explained this in an untold vision, that Deviat destroyed Scorpius. It wasn't the Red Ranger. In my movie, I'm going to read, I'm going to tell it differently. I'm going to say that Deviat destroyed Scorpius, not the Red Ranger. But in the TV series, the Red Ranger did do it, according to what Deviat said and what made Trakina want to start a full scale campaign against the Power Rangers and Terra Venture. And such. Episodes and episodes and episodes later, um, he uh, res uh, resurrected the Psycho Rangers. This is a screenshot of him that I used from my uh, phone from the In Space Lost Galaxy team up to the 10th power, the first of two episodes of it. You, because you can see that he got the data cards. Everybody knows what that episode was about. Of course, I liked that, that uh, team-up episode. When he when, By the time when he resurrected the Psycho Rangers... Uh, can somebody fill me in with that as you guys comment and stuff to me? Um, you know. And then, a few episodes later, and then an episode later after, uh, the, the original Pink Galaxy Ranger was destroyed. And such. A few episodes later, he... Well, you know what this was. This was the beginning of the story arc where he became that mutant thingy that looks like, uh... That, that mutant thing from the rescue mission episode. By the time when he used the by the time when he ambushed the Blue Ranger and defeat and, and um attacked the Guardian, um and entered the Lost Galaxy and when he got the Galaxy book, and by the time the Guardian died and then the Rangers the rest of the Rangers showed up, he used the, he used the Galaxy book to cast a key on a spell as the sky on Terra in the Mountain Dome on Terra Venture turns dark. Lightning bolts and every blue lightning bolts start striking out of the book and everything, you know, and then that's how he became that thing and starts attacking the Rangers, walloping them. And by the time when he blasts them, and then when the Red Ranger yells out lights of Orion and such, and then when they try to 
attack him and melee him, and it backfired. And then by the time when he started walking and walking and walking, pacefully slow, and by the time when the Rangers turned into the, uh, start charging to him saying with the Red Ranger saying, let's go Ryan activate, I don't know why he said it two times. Well, even though by the time when they were editing that episode, um, I just noticed that the closed caption and capabilities on that episode were all screwed up. And because, well, and the the the, the Orion power up ball mode uh, backfired and such. And then by the time when the Rangers pulled out their uh, newly enhanced quasar launchers modified by their Lysa Orion powers, Deviat was blown, and then, and this was the first and only time when Deviat grew into Megazord size to attack the Rangers, finally, and by the time when the Rangers, um, defeated, by the time when the Megazord defeated Deviat, he was defeated for good. Or was he? Unfortunately, by the time when, when TerraVenture entered the Lost Galaxy, Deviat returned unexpectedly after the Rangers defeated Captain Mutiny's, uh, mon monster Rocketron. And by the time when Deviat returned... He took Rocketron's power, siphoned his energy, reverted himself back from mutant to his original form. After that, Rocketron was destroyed, and this is when Deviat began to work with Captain Mutiny for, for a short period of time. But to tell the truth, Deviat actually worked it for Captain Mutiny, but uh, less on Scorpius. So he was mainly a mercenary working for Scorpius... Trakina and Captain Mutiny. His final two, his final three episode appearances, uh, um, "Beware the Titanosaur," "Escape the Lost Galaxy," and the first half of the of the final episode, "Journey's End." Um, let's see. Let's just instead of talking about the rest of his story from the Lost Galaxy story arc for the last two episodes. Um, after the after when after when Trakina returned um, into the picture and when TerraVenture escaped the Lost Galaxy and came back into the normal universe and when by the time when she destroyed Mutiny's castle, Deviat returned to the Scorpion Stinger and told her, which was obviously this was going to be obviously his final lie to her. I mean, what's with his what? I mean, seriously, what the hell is with the fibs coming from his metallic mouth? Of course he was, you know, to tell the truth, Deviat is like the opposite of Dark Conda from Power Rangers in Space, except Deviat's a robot, and Dark Conda is obviously, you know, a, bu a, Bra a, a Brazilian bug, or whatever, whatever you pronounce it. So, but anyway, by the time he came back to the Scorpion Stinger, and when Trakina told the, uh, Villamax to attack him before she gets a head-banging head, heck, he uh, headache like Rita always gets in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers well, during the first season. Cause by the time when uh, by the time he was gonna get his at metallic ass whooped again, this time by Villamax and not not her, um, Deviat went into the cocoon chamber where Trakina's cocoon was. Because it's you know her cocoon was just has been sitting there since stolen beauty, so um, hasn't been bothered and been touched with for a while since since Trakina last uh took took guard of it so that way Deviat won't put his, you know, robotic hands on it so he can become the ultimate evil being and you know, and then by the time when Deviat and Villamax had a small fight and when uh, Trakina was laughing like a hyena laughing at him just to see how painful his uh, his death was going to be, but it wasn't really a death. By the time when Villamax uh, sword swiped him one last time Deviat grabbed Trakina, and that was the last time we'll ever see Deviat in Power Rangers ever again. So he wasn't really defeated. He just merged. He and Trakina both merged into one being. And her metallic... No, wait. Her, psycho her psychotic robotic side is what really influenced me to like the character even more... And that's why I even also have a pit. Well, even though this is from a poster I made, and that's how both of them became one. Thanks for watching. Please comment, tweet, blah, blah, blah.